Okay, okay, we've previously talked about uh, how to get the equilibrium constant for um, a solubility slash complexation reaction. And I've gone ahead and, and, and calculated that for you. The equilibrium constant for this process is 1 times 10 to the minus 8. This equilibrium constant is less than 1. It means the left side is favored and the right side is not very favored. Um, the reason for this is um, due to the fact that the KSP is so much less than 1 and the KF is not that much greater than 1, okay? So the KSP wins out and the overall net equilibrium constant is much less than 1. It's 1, 10, whatever, 100 millionth or something, okay? Uh, so I want to ask a question here. Um, what is the uh, molar solubility of zinc hydroxide in uh, 2.5 molar ammonia. Okay. Uh, now to do this problem you want to set up an ice table. Go ahead and solve for X and all that business. So zinc hydroxide four ammonias Uh, so and initially, you, you just say you have, you know, one chunk of the solid or whatever, right? And uh, what we want to do is uh, put in here, you have your uh, 2.5 uh, molar. None of this, none of this. There's technically 1 times 10 to the minus 7 of uh, hydroxide, but we're going to assume that it's close enough to zero. Okay, that's another assumption. So we're going to react this. Now remember we're going to have 4x here, right? And you're going to form a bit of this and two of these. Add your columns. And so the equilibrium constant for this is 1 times 10 to the minus 8. And you're going to write out the equilibrium constant expression. It's your uh, zinc ion complex times the hydroxide ion comp uh, free ion squared and uh, the zinc hydroxide is a solid so you leave that off and we have ammonia to the fourth power Okay, and we go ahead and uh, substitute in our um, values. So we have x times uh, 2x squared over 2.5 minus 4x to the fourth power. And uh, what we want to do is try to make an assumption here because the equilibrium constant is much less than 1. It's 10 to the minus 8. We're going to assume that x is very small and therefore 2.5 minus 4x is about equal to 2.5. So thank goodness this simplifies. So 1 times 10 to the minus 8 is equal to 4x cubed divided by um, just 2.5. Okay. And um, I don't have my preferred calculator here with me, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to just do the algebra and the math here all on the fly. So 1 times 10 to the minus 8 uh, times 2.5, okay, and divide by 4. And then we want to take the cube root of that guy there, and I get a value of 0 0.0018. Okay, and in this rare instance, x is actually the answer, right? It's the amount of moles per liter that this stuff goes away. So we would say that the molar solubility, where did my, okay, is 1.8 times 10 to the minus third, okay, uh, 
tank and that's zinc hydroxide okay so it's not very soluble but that would be the case in 2.5 molar ammonia um, so this really this amount of ammonia is not driving the reaction to the right um, too much but a little bit of it dissolves in 2.5 molar ammonia coming back to Le Chatelier's principle you know that if you increase the concentration of ammonia this reaction is going to shift right and you're going to make more ions you're going to dissolve more of the solid the molar solubility should be greater in higher concentrations of ammonia okay so uh, that's a little bit about um, how you do this how you do this problem here okay uh, let me give you another problem so this is your you try it guy now here I'll start with the um, overall kind of combined Whoops, that should be just the uh, plus one there. So kind of hard when you got all these pluses and subscripts and superscripts everywhere. So you got to carefully watch out for things. Okay, so we've talked about how to uh, get the equilibrium constants for these net reactions. Um, it's KSP times of a KF, right? And for this, uh, you know, that's for the solid dissolving and that's for the complexation forming. And the value for this um, is 3.1 times 10 to the minus 3, okay? And my question that I want to ask here is, what is the molar solubility of silver chloride which is normally completely nearly completely insoluble in pure water in 2.5 molar ammonia okay and you can go ahead and make those assumptions that we um, did before okay assume that X is small Okay, so enter that into your video check for extra credit if you so desire. Thanks for watching.